Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and somehow in the last video, the, fra the frame of this video said that we are filming here got froze and in the middle of the video. So half of the video is me talking, half of the video just the screen, but yeah, we, we can't do anything about it. So in this video, we'll be focusing more on the styling part of it and I'll try to walk you through with a couple of examples of how we can actually have these settings and all of that. So right now, this is the basic card. We have done the styling. Uh, I would not say we have done the styling, I would rather say that we have done the basics, the styles uh, properties are there, but we haven't written any style so that it can actually take a great shape. And this is a great example of how we can actually make things uh, come to the life just within a second. So let's first focus with the heading text. You can go all crazy up here and can try out different things. I'll just go with the font size. I'll go with the very basic. So I'll just go for the 24 of the font size. Looks decent to me. I would then go up with the font styling of, let's put a weight onto this one. So I'll say font weight, and then we're gonna go ahead and say bold. All right, save this, looks decent. And let's also give it a padding. This time I wanna give a padding on the horizontal. So I'll just go ahead and say eight, and there we go. Uh, we can give padding a vertical as well, in case this is looking too, uh, or we can give a, a little bit of a margin from the top to the image. Whatever same, uh, say, uh, makes sense to you or whatever feels good, you can go ahead and work on with that. Now further, we have some stylings that we can do to the card itself. So notice here, we have a card and we have a card elevation. Elevation we'll be using majorly for uh, just some things like shadows and all of that. Let's first focus on the card itself. So the major thing that will shape up the card is going to be the height and width. Let's try uh, 350. And uh, this is the card width. And let's also wrap up the height of this card as well. So we're gonna go ahead and say uh, probably 360. You can play around with the number that how it looks like and how it's going to go. Uh, so this is good enough. Let's try to give it a bit of a border radius as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and say border radius. And uh, let's try not much, but the six. Uh, right now, this is not visible. This will be much more visible as we go ahead and move on with the card elevation as well. Uh, let's try to give a little bit of the margins as well. So let's go ahead and remove this. Go up here and say margin vertical. And we'll also give a margin of horizontal as well. So we'll say 12 here. So that shrinks a little bit. And we'll also give a margin horizontal, not max height. Margin horizontal. And let's also give it a 16. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, decent notice here that my simulator is a little bit off here on the screen so this is now coming up to a shape of what a card should look like we can also try a little bit of the elevated now elevated is usually the properties that i keep for myself whenever i need to give some elevation kind of a things like shadows or anything or any such properties like that so let's go ahead and give it some background colors and all of that so let's come up here and we'll say background color and we'll go with the white uh, definitely we can come up and change this later on. So this is the card that's looking like uh, almost now giving us a shape that yes, the card is there. Obviously, we need to give some images properties as well for the rounded corners and everything, but good enough. Let's also give, uh, can we give a color to this one? Uh, not really, I guess. Let's try this. Color. And we'll be going with the, let's say, save that. And this is not going to take any impact because we need to probably say individual onto this color. So this doesn't work like that. Again, uh, I don't know everything. These are things which you try, hit, run, and all of that. So let's go ahead and try with the elevation. And we'll give it a number of three. So that's some elevation, card elevation. Uh, it's a little bit off from the screen. So notice it just adds these uh, black layer at the bottom. That's what the elevation does. Uh, let's try a shadow offset. Shadow offset. And again, this is a property again. So it needs a width and height. We'll give it a width of one and we'll give it a height of one. That's all. And uh, that's all. We can again come back onto this one with the shadow colors and shadow width and all of that. Now let's go ahead and try to play around with a little bit of the images, okay? Uh, because this is something which might be bothering to a lot of you because these corners are not rounded. So that's that's understandable, very much understandable. 
Uh, let's go ahead and first try to give a margin from the bottom. So just going up here, margin bottom, and let's try eight. And uh, there we go. We cannot see as of now uh, because we haven't got this card title and all of that any color. So let's go ahead and first fix that. So we're going to go ahead and give it a color. And we'll say, so card title is here and we'll be copying and pasting this to all of this. Card label, uh, description and to footer. You can play around with the different colors. I'm just pushing this so that you can see that when we say margin bottom of zero and eight, this is what it's making a difference. It was little bit difficult to see in the first place but now it is much more visible let's try to give a little bit of the radius so here's an interesting property about the image that you can give a margin on the top uh margin top left no it's not margin actually it's a border yeah border yeah, this is what i was talking about so border top left radius so this is the property that you can give so on the top and side on the left you can give a border radius in case you are in the images so notice here it rounds the corner so yes very interesting property that you can control each individual element with these properties similarly we can go ahead and say border top right radius and we can go ahead and give six or we can go fancy with the 26 and you get the idea how this is all going on, but I'll not go that much fancy. I'll just keep it with the basics. So there we go. Card image is nice. Now let's go with the card body. This is where we can play around because if you remember, the card body is actually something which is encapsulating all the other elements. So you can play around a lot here with the flex box. And that's one of the reasons why we always put it into a card body. Let's play around with that by having a flex property. We will say flex one. And I gave you an assignment in the last video to study a little bit about the flex grow. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say flex grow of one here as well. And let's also add some padding. So padding horizontal uh, to be 12. Let's save this. And there we go. We got the padding up here. Uh, try to give me in the comment section, what does the flex grow? In the last video, I show you some documentation. What does the flex grow does? And probably you might want to tell me in the comment section what it does and tag me up on Twitter or Instagram. Answer this. All right, now let's go on to the title. Title should look like a title. So let's go ahead and put up some the font size. So font size, I think uh, 22 would be good enough. Yeah, this looks like a title. And let's also add a font weight. So font weight. And we obviously will be going with the bold here. There we go. Looking already much beautiful. And uh, let's add a little bit of the margin bottom. So margin bottom, that's going to be four. Yep. Or maybe six. Yeah, better. Okay, then we have a card label. Now this is a card label. So we'll be having same properties like font size. So let's copy this and paste this. Have it here. This one could be a little bit like somewhat 16 or something. So it looks like, yeah, this is a title. We'll be having a little bit of a shorter font font size for the description as well. Let's go ahead and give it a font size of uh, 16. Card label could be 14. Yep. And this could be uh, 12 maybe. Yeah, good enough. All right. Okay, so this is, let's go back on to uh, first the car title. So car title is looking good. So whatever all the properties that we wanted to have on this title, I think we are happy with this. Then we move ahead into the card label. Let's try to add a margin bottom to this one. So margin bottom. So it is separated a little bit. So this is four. There we go. Looking good enough. I think the margin bottom should be four here as well. Just playing around it with a little bit of eyeballing. And this could be six. Yep, good enough. Then we have the card description and uh, we'll be having a little bit of a margin bottom. So we'll copy this and just place it up here. And this one could have a margin bottom of 12. There we go. Looking nice. And uh, what else can we do is we can have more properties here. For example, we can have a flex shrink of one onto this one. 
and not doing much as a flex shrink in this case but we could have moved this onto a different places we can have uh, like for example we can have in this card description i want to have a margin top as well margin top of uh, maybe six yep now looking much better we can also choose a bit of a different color so that will actually make sense let's go to one of my old website ui color picker and from here we can actually select some of a different shade of a color which this will make sense so i'll just copy this go back onto this one and the description can have a better color there we go mm, could be a little bit darker one uh, let's try a little bit different yeah this one will be better let's try this one and we can have a card description color save that yep this one is making sense all right so now this is looking more of a like a card and we can have more of these cards the the great idea about this is we can have as many cards as we like and we already have this scrolling icon so notice here just with a quick few things we were able to create cards which are nice and easier and obviously you can play around with them make them much more beautiful if you like Hava Mahal to be on the center how you can do it that's an assignment maybe you want Pink City to be just below this or on the right hand side uh, maybe this 12 minutes away should be on the right hand side or at the center of the card how you can do that see you need to learn one thing that i cannot just go ahead stand here and show you all the things although i can but that would not be your learning your learning will come only and only when you are going to experiment read a little bit more of the documentation and figure out things as you go that's how we go and just by watching this video you have understood and learned a lot about the properties that you can go ahead and do that so that later on when i do it's a much faster learning experience for you. So that's all what we'll be doing for this particular video. Let's catch up in the next one.